What's going on guys? We are back for another quick video and this one we are going over shipping profiles for print on demand sellers on Etsy. So whether you guys are using Printful, Printify or a different integration, we're going to answer some of the questions that may come up and I'm going to share some of my best practices for using these. So things like, should you charge for shipping or should you offer it for free? Should you just sell in your own country or should you also sell internationally? And then how the process works. So when a customer buys, how does that payment process work? And I'm going to show you guys examples on both Printful and Printify. I've actually creating a listing and using a shipping profile or creating one from scratch so that you guys understand a little bit better how this process works. So if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more information on print on demand, on Etsy, Amazon, etc. But without further ado, let's go ahead and hop right in. So as print on demand sellers, we are used to doing things differently and the same is true on Etsy. So unlike the seller that has hundreds of pieces of inventory and they are shipping orders out and packing things up and dealing with shipping labels, we don't have to deal with any of that. We have our third party fulfillment companies like Printful or Printify or one of the others out there. They're gonna handle all the heavy lifting, but we are still responsible for the shipping profiles. And I'll tell you guys from firsthand experience, I've made a bunch of mistakes here before that have cost me a lot of money. So this is my cautionary tale to you. Make sure you pay attention to these. You don't wanna lose money on shipping. It can be a really simple thing to fix. Uh, and you might even be able to make some money on it. So the easy way to kind of think about shipping on Etsy is there's really a few different ways to set up your shipping rates. And that's by the three different kind of types of rates. So we have flat rates, so a flat number across the board. We have weight based rates. So depending on how much that product weighs or how much the order weighs, we can charge a different rate. And then we have free shipping. Now, obviously there's a bunch of different ways to structure those, which we'll kind of get into a little bit later. But that's kind of a high level on how to think about these. So the big question normally people ask now is should I charge for shipping or should I give kind of the free shipping right and I like to tell them while there isn't a definitive answer you can really do whatever you want uh, if we look at the big players we know that free shipping is kind of the go-to thing Amazon's offering free shipping Target's offering free shipping, Walmart, it's becoming the norm. So people are kind of learning to expect free shipping uh, and that's kind of carrying over onto Etsy. So even recently, Etsy has announced that they're actually gonna start favoring products in search that have a free shipping guarantee on them. And if guys, if you go to Etsy right now and do a quick search, let's say of dog t-shirt, you're gonna notice that there are certain products on that search result that say, have a little green badge underneath that say free shipping. And guess what? This is gonna help pull people into that listing. It's gonna differentiate you and actually beat out the competition who don't have this guarantee. So you're getting more eyeballs on your listing. Obviously that's more chances to convert. And we know that free shipping also helps with conversion rates. So that is my argument for doing free shipping, but ultimately it's up to you guys. You can also offer, you know, different programs and charge for shipping, whatever it may be. Now, really the next question that comes up is, should I just sell in my own country or should I also sell internationally? I like to say, why not sell internationally? Especially with Printful or Printify, there's options where they're gonna fulfill internationally for you. So it's an easy way to just go ahead and add those markets on and obviously get more sales. So finally guys, and then I'm gonna show you guys two examples here. How does the payment actually work? So let's say a customer orders a product, how does this actually work? Well, what happens is, let's say you're a normal Etsy seller and you're actually the one printing off labels in Etsy. What happens is a customer places an order, that money then shows up in your Etsy account. Then from that order in Etsy, you can go and print off a label which is gonna get deducted from that amount that, uh, that's in your Etsy account. And then whatever's left over will get deposited into your bank account you know, every week on a rolling schedule. Now, print on demand, we're a little bit different because we're not printing labels through Etsy. We're actually relying on our shipping companies to take care of that. So how it works with print on demand is a customer places an order. So let's say it's $20 for a t-shirt. That $20 goes into our Etsy account and it's gonna show there. But what happens, that $20 is gonna stay there. And then with, let's say Printful, what they're gonna go do is they're gonna get that order, they're gonna start actually manufacturing it. And when it gets shipped out, they're gonna charge our credit card. So let's say that, that shirt and the shipping cost us uh, $15. So they're gonna charge our credit card for $15 but we already have our $20 in Etsy. Then on Monday or whatever day of the week, this $20 is gonna get deposited into our bank account. And essentially we're looking at $20 minus our $15 charge. So we've made $5. Now that's a simplification. Obviously there's Etsy fees, et cetera, but that's kind of how the process works. So with that being said, let's hop into the computer screen. I'm gonna show you guys how to do a basic setup on both Printful and Printify to actually set these shipping profiles up on Etsy. All right guys, here we are in the computer screen. So this is my example shop, Too Many Turtle Shop. 
really basic. I just have this one design here, but essentially what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to either create a manual shipping profile or use one of the integrations like Printful Printify to do this process. So we have this one simple turtle uh, design here that we want to essentially create a few more examples for. Um, and so before we do, I just wanna show you guys again the benefit of offering free shipping here. So if we type in turtle t-shirt, and look at the search results. This first row is gonna be obviously the people who are uh, paying to be here, but these other ones are gonna be the organic results. And what I wanna point out is look how few people are using free shipping uh, as part of their kind of offer, right? It's less than half of these, these results. And so if you are new to Etsy or you're just trying to stand out, offering free shipping is one really easy way to get kind of that, that call out in search. We see that um, we get this little green badge, which obviously is gonna help draw people into our listing, help with conversion rates, et cetera. So just wanna point that out. Again, this is one easy way to kind of differentiate yourselves. Now, before we do this, we're gonna create a, uh, well, essentially we're gonna create our, our own manual uh, shipping profile. And so we need to figure out how much does it actually cost for us to ship our product to the customer and how long does it take? And this is gonna differ depending on what kind of integration you guys are using, um, but just just an easy way to kind of look at this is if you go to Printful or Printify's website, and I'm sure any integration you guys are using should probably break this down. Uh, but Printful, for example, if we go to how it works and then shipping kind of on their homepage, we can see the breakdown by product. It's gonna differ by product, but we can see the cost. So t-shirts, for example, the first shirt is gonna cost $3.99, and then it's $1.25 for each additional. So obviously this is incentivizing us to offer uh, or get orders that have more than one unit in them. Uh, that is gonna help us make more money but we can see kind of the breakdown by product. So depending on what you guys are selling in your shop, you're gonna to wanna to look at this and get a sense of how much this costs uh, and you know, obviously where you're selling as well. Um, and then if we wanna figure out how long it's gonna to take to actually arrive, we can go to products and we can choose any of the products that we're looking at and get a breakdown so we can see average delivery, five to eight business days, five to 10 for this one. So again, depending on what product we are selling. Uh, Printify, very similar. If you go to the bottom, we can go to uh, shipping rates and then you can see you know, the different vendors here and choose one of the vendors you wanna look at. It's gonna break down by product, how much it's gonna cost, you know, how long it's gonna take, et cetera. So that is just kind of to get an idea of how long this is gonna take. And we do need that information if we wanna create our own shipping profile. So let's go ahead and do that. So back in Etsy here, I've gone to settings and then to shipping settings and then shipping profiles here at the top. And you guys can see here, I don't have any in here. I've deleted them all off just to start from scratch. We wanna go and add a shipping profile. Now there's two options. We can either have Etsy do a live calculation. So depending on where the um, shopper or the buyer is, it will calculate for us depending on what it thinks the shipping cost is gonna be uh, and automatically charge them a shipping rate. So that's kind of convenient, but I like to do uh, fixed prices or manual, which we've talked about and we can choose our shipping origin. So in this case, you know, most of my customers are in the US, so I'm gonna leave that as US. We can choose our processing time. Um, so as we kind of can see on a lot of these, these products, it takes about five to uh, 10 days. You know, Printify, Printify might be a little bit less. Again, guys, it really depends on, um, you know, what, what production partner you're using. But from what I know, you know, normally it's about two to seven business days for the product to get printed. If we wanted to be safe, I could say, you know, two to eight days. And then down here, we're kind of choosing where do we want to ship to? So if you guys just want to do your own country or let's say just the US, I would delete this off and only have the US as an option here. Um, now with Printful, they normally ship with either like DHL or USPS, but they can kind of, you know, differ. Sometimes it's a different carrier. So I will normally leave this as other. And then for delivery time, I'm just going to estimate that it's, um, you know, somewhere between like four and eight days. And again, I can either choose to charge for shipping here or do free shipping. So in this case, what I like to do is offer free shipping to the US and then charge for any international shipping. So we'll make this super easy, free shipping to the US and then everywhere else is gonna be, I'm gonna choose other again here. Let's assume it takes a little bit longer. So I'm gonna do five to 10 days and this I'm going to charge a fixed rate. Uh, so let's just say $4 to, uh, for one item and then for anything else, it's an additional $2. That's a really easy way to do this, right? Now, if we wanted to, we could get granular, we could do you know every different location in here, but for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna do that. And then finally, we want to name our shipping setting. So I'm just gonna do a name like fast and easy shipping, and I'm gonna hit create profile. So that is the manual way to do this. We just did this really quickly, really easily. 
And now if we already have listings and we want to at, apply them to this shipping or apply the shipping template to them, we can go to listings and then highlight the ones we want and do change shipping tip profiles right here and easily actually add this shipping profile to this product. And just like that, that's our, all we need to do to have our manual shipping profile actually configured. And you know, obviously if we have hundreds of products, we can still do the exact same thing. So if we want to kind of streamline this, we can use the kind of pre-built shipping profiles in our print on demand partner. So I'm gonna show you guys a walkthrough with both Printful and Printify, so let's hop into that. So here with um, Printful, uh, I'm in the back end right now, and let me actually refresh this page. Uh, I am going to add a new product. So I have these ones in here, they're old, so just ignore those. I'm gonna add a new product, and let's just go ahead and upload our same design. So we're gonna choose this shirt, and our turtle design right here and go ahead and proceed. And I'm just gonna copy my title. So I just wanna fill in the basic information. Obviously, if you're really making a listing, you wanna spend more time, but I'm gonna fill in the title. We fill in kind of our basic info and then we scroll to the bottom and this is where we wanna pay attention, guys. So we look at this, this is the shipping area. So if we don't choose to select this box at the bottom, Printful's automatically going to assume that we want to charge uh, the base rate here, this 399, 649, et cetera. Um, but if we want to offer free shipping, we can easily do that by checking this box here. But there is one really important thing. So obviously we want to offer free shipping or at least you know, in my, my experience, I want to offer free shipping. But the problem is if we check this box, it's gonna get free shipping no matter where in the world the customer purchases. And the problem is if I, I'm in the US, if someone buys from my US shop, uh, I normally end up spending a lot more money to ship it internationally. And so I actually want to charge internationally, but have it free for the US. So we can really do this to one of two ways. We can either check this box and move forward that way, or we can leave it unchecked. Um, and either way, what we're gonna do is actually edit the shipping profile that Printful creates in Etsy. Um, and so for this, let me just go ahead and say, yeah, I wanna display my products with free shipping proceed to pricing, and then we're just gonna go ahead and publish this to store. So this is gonna take a minute. I'm gonna pause the video and I'll be right back with you guys. All right guys, so our product is actually pushed and we should now see it in our Etsy backend. So I'm gonna just refresh here. And let's see, it should push over. So now I have one in draft. So I'm gonna go ahead and just publish this product, which is gonna take a second. So let me refresh this page. All right, so this one should get published in a second. Now, in the meantime, I'm gonna go back over to shipping settings and we're gonna go to shipping profiles. And now you guys can see that I now have all of these other shipping profiles that have been added. So what, what has happened is when we connect our store on Printful and then actually publish our first product, Printful is automatically going to add all of the different shipping templates that we have in here. Um, and so, you know, some of these might not apply, right? We can see that my, my shop right now is only t-shirts, but there's some in here for large posters, coffee mugs, etc. But essentially they're adding all of these in here to make it easy in case we wanna add other products. The two for t-shirts you wanna focus on are this one that says Printful Free Shipping, and then this one down here it's added, Printful T-shirts, blah, 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 all this other stuff. This one is gonna be the one that ha we, um, we kind of add when we choose that box that says free shipping. And this one down here is going to be kind of, if we don't choose that free shipping, where it's gonna charge for each item. But what we wanna do, remember guys, we've chosen free shipping, right? So if we go to our product, so let's go ahead and look at our storefront right now. So we've just published this and you guys can see here, this is free shipping, which is awesome. That's what we want to happen. But if someone from another country comes and buys this, obviously we are gonna take a hit on shipping. So I actually wanna edit this template. So I can see right here, this is the free shipping one and I have one product active on this. I'm gonna go ahead and edit this. And essentially what I'm gonna do is delete. So you guys can see here, we have US and then we have all the other markets. So US, I wanna leave as free shipping. But what I'm gonna do is actually delete all of these other uh, things off here, all these other countries and leave everywhere else. And I'm gonna do fixed price. So remember, I'm gonna change this to other. And I'm gonna just do, uh, you know, I'm not exactly sure what the delivery time is, but let me just do like seven to 10 days for this example. I'm gonna do a fixed price of $4 for each product and $1 for additional. Obviously, again, this is an example, guys. You can do higher here or lower. Um, you know, if someone is willing to come to the, come and look for your item and willing to have it shipped from the US, normally they're willing to, you know, pay some of these shipping fees. Uh, they're motivated to get your product. So one way to think about it. So let's just say I do $5 and $2. Now we have this saved and I can actually save this profile. So 
I just wanna point that out to you guys because it is really easy to overlook and if you are selling internationally, you could lose a lot of money if you don't make this simple, simple change. So now we have that updated and obviously now we can go ahead and make sure that's applied to all of our listings. So if I wanted to, I could go back through here. Uh, it should automatically update on this, but let me just go ahead and do this process so I could choose this and change shipping profile. And now I wanna make sure that I'm using, again, Printful free shipping. Um, and you guys can see here, United States, zero dollars, everywhere else is five dollars. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply that and we are done. So that is Printful. Now what if we wanna do this on Printify? So same deal, I'm here in my back end. I'm gonna do add a product and let's just go ahead, kind of go through the same process. I'll try to choose something a little bit different. So um, let's just do, let's just do kids clothing, let me see. Uh, I'll just do this shirt right here. Okay, we can see you know the people that are offering this. So there's only two options for this one. Uh, I'm going to look, okay, these guys have a clearly the better rating. So I'm gonna just choose them. And we're gonna upload our design here. Let's find our turtles design. All right, it's gonna take one second. We can add different colors, blah, blah, blah. Okay, save product. Essentially, this is now saving it into our Printify dashboard. Now what we have to do is actually uh, publish this to our store. So I'm gonna actually do edit listing. And we're, again, kind of what we just did on Printful, I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the basics. So I can choose my mockups. I'm just going to give it a title. Uh, we can update all the pricing. So let's just say um, update price to 1995. Okay. And then I'm gonna do down here, publish product to Etsy store. And now we can kind of choose from a few different options. So our options with Printify are we can either leave this box checked and what will happen is Printify will create a brand new shipping template specific to this product, or we can choose to use a pre-existing one. Um, and now this is again where you're gonna to wanna to check and see how long it's gonna take, right? So we can see, like, let's say we're using this, this example. I know that it's gonna take about three to eight days and my cost is $5 and it's $2.50. So maybe I want to now charge a little bit more for this. It's a little more expensive than my, my Printful version. So maybe I wanna charge a little bit more, uh, but I could also choose to use one of the ones I've already made. So maybe I just wanna use the same template I've made for everything else. So let's just use our fast and easy shipping. And just like that, we can go ahead and click publish. And guys, same deal. It's gonna publish this really simple over to Etsy and we're gonna have that free shipping with our shipping profile. Now, if we hadn't done that, if we had gone ahead and chosen to have a new shipping profile created, uh, just like we had saw with Printful, Printify will actually create a brand new shipping template uh, which we might need to go in and kind of look at and edit, et cetera. So that's how easy it is. I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you have questions, because I know this stuff can get a little bit confusing, let me know down below in the comments. Um, but the last thing I wanna talk about is how returns are handled with this whole process. Now, every third party fulfillment company is gonna be a little bit different. So Printful, uh, how they handle returns is if a return does get requested, you can have the customer either ship it back directly to you or to, so I could have them ship it to my apartment here or Printful, you can actually have them return it to the Printful warehouse and Printful will then either ask you if you want them to ship it back to you or discard of the product. Printify, Printify, they don't really handle the returns for you. So uh, in terms of returns, you guys just kind of need to look at each different product uh, in their platform and how they handle those. So uh, make sure you do some reading on that, but let me know if you guys have any questions down below in the comments. And I hope that video was helpful for you. If you want to see anything else, any other topics on Etsy or kind of the backend stuff, let me know. And we will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.